Hare Krishna. Once Lord Krishna was invited to the place of Duryodhan and Krishna didn't take even a drop of water in his house. He had arranged huge feast but he didn't take anything saying I am not hungry. And from Duryodhan's house he goes to Vidura's house. Vidura was not at home. Vidurani was at home. As Krishna entered the house of Vidura, wife of Vidura who was there, she was completely ecstatic. She received Krishna. And guess what? Now Krishna became hungry suddenly. And Krishna wants something to eat. And wife of Vidura, she was so ecstatic, she was so happy that she was personally peeling the banana and offering it to Krishna. And when Vidura entered, he saw the entire scene and he became very angry. And he started saying to his wife, What's wrong with you? That you're peeling the banana, throwing the fruit and you're giving peel to Krishna? And oh Krishna, what's wrong with you? You're eating the peel, banana peel. And you're tasting it and you're saying that this is the most delicious thing I have ever had. Oh Lord, what is this? And guess what? In this entire pastime, Krishna is proving one very important point. That Duryodhan called him for such a big feast, he didn't eat anything there. All delicious items kept on the table. He didn't take even a drop of water. And he goes to the house of Vidura and there he is tasting the sweetness of the bhakti that is there in the peel of the banana given by Vidurani. Krishna is bhavagrahi. He accepts the bhava behind offering. Therefore, it is described, doesn't matter what is our situation, what is our position, what is our status. What matters is, with what mood we are offering things to Krishna. And Krishna is very clear. He being bhavagrahi, he accepts whatever is offered with love and devotion. So every day when we are chanting, it's an offering that we are making it to Krishna. For his pleasure. Why are we chanting? For pleasure of Krishna. So when we are chanting as an offering for Krishna, for his pleasure, it should be with love and devotion. It should be for his pleasure. If this is the mood, then that Bhavagrahi Janardhana will accept our offering, which we are trying our best to offer with love and devotion. So in this way, the mood is very, very important. So we can always remind ourselves that Krishna is not someone who wants a lot of quantity of things. He is a person who is looking for quality. He is Bhavagrahi Janardhana. And if you really want to do, if we really want to make a very, very nice, delicious offering for the pleasure of Krishna, we should chant our rounds very nicely with quality. And Krishna will be very, very happy to accept such a very wonderful, delicious offering. Therefore, today when we are chanting, let's meditate on this one name of Krishna, Bhavagrahi Janardhana. He accepts quality. He is not very keen about quantity. That quality has to be proper. And we as devotees, Shla Prabhupada has told us minimum 16 rounds as quantity. Now it's our job to chant 16 rounds with quality for the pleasure of Krishna. So let's do this for the pleasure of Guru and Krishna. Hare Krishna.